We have come together today as a family to strengthen the ties that bind us all together in this big federation. Indeed, there is probably no better time for this conversation than now. So I welcome you all to this dialogue. Brothers and sisters, in the past 58 years, Nibu have worked tirelessly with their fellow Nigerians to lay the foundations for a better federation and a more perfect union. We have made the most sacrifices and most often than not, we have also paid the supreme price for the unity of this country. But we have made these sacrifices in the belief that uh, in the contemporary history of mankind, the road to a nationhood is often paved with the blood of the patriots. Indeed, Nibu have paid the price for Nigeria's greatness. We paid in blood and we paid in full. Among them, the future summons us to a brighter dawn and we must walk in the shadows of our fathers. Yes, our fathers played a major role in Nigeria's long road to independence. And today, we have gathered to dream a balanced federation into existence for Nigeria and Nigerians. Fellow compatriots, I have combed the pages of history and our contemporary times, and I boldly declare that I did not find a perfect human society anywhere. Every nation on earth is a work in progress. Citizens of both advanced and developing countries continue to ask their countries hard questions that will lead them to a better federation, a better nation, and a better society. And Nigeria cannot be an exception to this rule. So we must ask Nigeria hard questions too. Fellow Nigerians, the question on everybody's mind today is, what kind of country do Nigerians want for themselves? This is the question that will determine Nigeria's promise, Nigeria's future, and Nigeria's greatness. Happily, different ethnic groups and geopolitical zones have made bold efforts to ask this question in the recent times. And today, Nibo will ask their own. As governor of Anambra State, I was born and raised in Nigeria, and I've lived in Nigeria for a better part of my life. I have lived the Nigerian dream, experienced the horrors of Nigeria's many heartbreaks. I know what my people want from Nigeria and the question we must ask of Nigeria. We must ask what every forward-looking people want from any sociocultural arrangement. Life, liberty, and a chance to raise happy families. We must ask for a just 
a fair and equitable federation where every citizen is guaranteed the freedom to be the best they can and to aspire to the highest position in the land, regardless of their tribe, their culture or religion. And this is what Nigeria in its present structure has not given us. Brothers and sisters, we have answered the call of history and hopefully history will be kind to us. If our fathers invested their youthful hopes and power to their intellect in Nigeria of their time, we have invested our wealth, our enterprise, our emotion in remaking Nigeria. Indeed, no ethnic group has as much emo emotional investment in Nigerian project as Indigo. And now, we have been called upon to reimagine Nigeria. We welcome this challenge with both hands. For if we rose from the ruins of the Civil War to rebuild Eastern Nigeria in record time, there should be no doubt about what Ndibo can bring to the table in a fair, just and equitable Nigeria. Omonem, I have no doubt that the Deshama will articulate a wise, realistic, hopeful position that will represent the key expectations of Ndigo from Nigeria. It is on this note that I welcome you all once again to Anambra State, the light of the nation. Ndibo Kenemono. Ndibo Zwano. Ndibo Muano. Nkabo. Thank you.